Neurofibromatosis, also referred to as NF, is a genetic disorder that affects how nerve cells form and grow. It typically causes tumors to form on the nervous system. These tumors can develop throughout the body, but are most often found in the brain, spinal cord, and other nerves that control sensation, movement, and motor coordination. While many of these tumors are benign, there is a possibility that they can cause disabilities and become cancerous. The term NF encompasses three disorders, neurofibromatosis 1, neurofibromatosis 2, and schwannomatosis. Each type of NF is caused by either genetic mutation or a child inheriting an autosomal dominant pattern from a parent. Autosomal means the gene in question is located on one of the non-sex chromosomes. The genetic pattern is dominant because only one parent needs to supply the abnormal gene for the child to be affected by this condition. In this video, we are going to learn more about the distinctive types and causes of NF and the people who are diagnosed with it. Neurofibromatosis 1 is the most common type of NF, affecting 1 in 3,000 people worldwide. Signs and symptoms range in severity, but they often include multiple cafe au lait spots, or light brown spots on the skin, small, benign growths on or under the skin, and or freckling in the armpits or groin area. Many of these characteristics begin to develop at birth or by the time the child is 10 years old. Learning disabilities are common in children with NF1, but they are typically mild and manageable. Neurofibromatosis 2 is less common than NF1, affecting only 1 in 25,000 people. One of the primary signs is the development of benign tumors on the nerve that carries sound and balance information from the inner ear to the brain. Therefore, people with NF2 often have partial or complete hearing loss and problems with balance. NF2 can also cause cataracts, weakening a person's vision. Brain and spinal tumors are also common. Most of these symptoms become apparent in the child's teenage and early adult years. Schwannomatosis is the rarest form of NF. It is presumed to affect less than 1 in 40,000 people. This type of NF can occur at any age, but is most often identified in adulthood. Schwannomatosis occurs when benign tumors begin to develop on spinal and peripheral nerves, causing chronic pain anywhere on the body. Diagnosing any type of NF begins with a physical examination and a review of a child's personal and familial medical history. Additional tests such as eye exams, hearing and balance exams, x-rays, CT scans, MRIs, and genetic tests may be necessary as they can reveal nuanced signs of the condition. Neurofibromatosis cannot be cured, but treatments exist to help manage the symptoms. Management practices include frequent checkups with a medical doctor, medications, surgery to remove nerve tumors, and radiation or chemotherapy, especially if a tumor has become cancerous or unbearably painful. While there may not be a cure for NF, doctors and scientists are working hard to develop one. Neurofibromatosis can manifest in one of three types, but it will affect each person differently. It is possible for a person to have only one sign, but another person to experience the full list of symptoms. Even though a person may face certain challenges, an individual diagnosed with NF can still live a normal life. This video is brought to you by PATH, Parent to Parent Family Voices of Connecticut. We would like to thank Victoria Nuss, a self-advocate, CASA member, and an individual living with neurofibromatosis. And we would also like to thank Ruth Nuss, PATH FVCT's board president and mother of Victoria, for both of their help producing this video. In addition, we would like to credit the Children's Tumor Foundation, the Mayo Clinic, and the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center for the information shared in this video. If you'd like to stay in the loop, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, where you'll get updates on future episodes and other programs. Thank you.